This is not my first turn. I did my quarter for Kappa, and this is the first time seeing my channel. My name is Retro. I usually do cartoon series, anime series, or something random. And today I'm gonna review Glitch Tech from Netflix from Nickelodeon. Now, this cartoon was sort of surprising because it's something that I feel in the country community really did not that much confidence because it's from Nickelodeon. So yeah, it's something that really doesn't give that much trust. But I'm surprisingly, this cartoon was legitimately good. It was interesting. How to describe Glitch Tech? Well, it's kind of like Men in Black means reboot. If you, that kind of reference doesn't get you, especially Ghostbusters means video games. Yeah, that's the best way to describe it because these two young kids who basically got lucky to join this secret organization by the government because the show didn't describe who can let this uh, secret organization run I guess by the company in my opinion because the reason why they're basically existing is because some of the video games they create or the system they use that actually kind of glitch out things out of it like part of the characters and this organization who are basically gamers who basically take them down and reset them and that's it that's basically what the story is about but it's so interesting is how they execute each episode because they, they don't do references. The fact is the reference is part of the whole episode that is basically the keystone of how to feed this bad guy. If you say guitar here, you have to beat the final boss. You know how fast it goes. You need someone who understands it. You see them sort of figuring out which way is the best angle to take it down. And I think this is the most most interesting thing because each episode is completely different. It's the same subject matter. You have to take down this monster, this glitch that come out of the video game and defeat him. How? What's the pattern? How much AP, HP it has? How many times it had to repeat the same kind of a formula to defeat it? And I love about that. That shows how much dedication and thought get into this episode. Especially how many references and video games they do in per each episode. One, you have sort of Mario Brothers. You have another one, a Tetris. You have another one, Castlevania. You have to defeat Dracula. And I love that sort of reference. I can't use the name, but they play with it and make it fit on the episode. And I especially love Miko and Five. I mean, these two main characters are completely different, but really likable. For example, Miko is super giddy. She's basically a hype girl. She's so into gaming you just so affection in her happiness you just love her but she has flaws she can't concentrate she acts on impulse she doesn't follow the rules it's sort of reckless but in the end she gets the job done you also have five that he's basically more kind of realistic he's straight and narrow he's followed the rules and does all the strategy but he also very far he's very panicking overthink things but at the end with her partner they can do it they can defeat the glitches and save the town but i love it that this series has this sort of arcing story they have hinted something season one or part one doesn't really reveal what's the big story the only thing you know is this new recruits has potential and has a small chance of being used by the company for some evil purposes or not evil purposes because all the people you meet in the ticks group they are very likable and genuine except for one character basically it's the main rival of the main group but niche i mean he is basically what a gamer online person looks like he's sort of fully himself sort of pretentious but at the end, he is talented and knows what he's doing. But at the same time, have to do with rookies. And the rookies had to deal with him. You, you want to hear him so much. But at the end, you kind of do need him. Because he makes the show more interesting. You see how they talk down to the new rookies. And Nitch is just so full of himself. You want to smack him. But he does get his comeuppings. Besides that, I love everything about this except for maybe one two episodes because it's sort of cliche beside those two episodes i got really nothing bad to say about this series because it's just so surprising really good especially the lighting i mean wow it's really good lighting how they use the imagery how they use the gaming format how they use the sort of scenarios just a creative i mean wow yeah i can't I want more, basically. I just can't wait for more. I, I don't know what else to say. Did you see this series? Did you like it? What you hate about it? Comment down below. Got nothing else to say. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a wonderful day. Bye.